There are four fundamental forces in the universe. The weak and strong forces, the electromagnetic force, and the gravitational force. Each of these forces is controlled by a particle. The gluons carry the strong force, the W and Z bosons carry the weak force, the photons carry the electromagnetic force, and the gravitons carry the gravitational force. The weak and strong forces have a very short and limited range, yet the gravitational and electromagnetic force have infinite ranges. The graviton carries the weakest force, followed by the photon, then the strongest of all is the gluon, which is responsible for keeping the nucleus of an atom together. The gravitational force is much weaker than the electromagnetic force, because the charge of these particles is much more significant than their mass. Think of how much harder it is to put a small magnet off the fridge than it is to lift it off a table. The problem is we still can't find the graviton, but we do know quite a bit about it. It's like the perfect guy. You know all of his characteristics, but you just can't find him. The graviton travels at the speed of light. It has a spin of two, which is total angular momentum, infinite range, and behaves both as a wave and a particle. According to string theory, it has a closed loop, which means it could travel between universes. However, there's one characteristic that's still up for debate, and that's its mass. Einstein believed that the graviton would be massless because of their high speed and their infinite range. He also predicted that the universe would be expanding, yet his theories found that the universe's expansion would be slowing down. But actually, it's accelerating. To explain its acceleration, physicists coined the term dark energy and explain it as a force that counteracts gravity so that the universe doesn't collapse on itself. We know it has to be greater than the gravitational force to account for the universe's acceleration, but based on mathematical computations, the amount of dark energy in the universe would create a much greater acceleration and expansion than what's actually observed. That's almost 10 to the 100 times greater. That's 100 zeros, which is four times the size difference between the Milky Way and a grain of sand. Enough to rip our universe apart. But that's where another theory comes in handy. Massive gravitons nearly 10 to the 28 times smaller than the electron would still obey the idea of long range and all of gravity's observed attractions, but would help us clarify the idea of dark energy. If the graviton is massive, it would dampen the acceleration and absorb most of the dark energy, leaving only a fraction to accelerate the universe's expansion. Since we know so much about the graviton, what makes it so difficult to find? With other particles, we've used particle accelerators to detect them. But to detect the graviton, we would need to build one as big as Jupiter. So it doesn't make it very feasible. Instead, we know that when space collisions happen, there is energy released to obey the law of conservation of momentum. This energy is mostly released in the form of photons. But when it comes to black holes, which don't emit light, another form of energy is released. And that's in gravitational waves. When physicists use detectors like LIGO and black hole collisions, they are able to detect gravitational waves for split seconds. And that's just the beginning of locating the graviton particle. This detection proves gravity at the quantum level and suggests its discrete nature showing that particles come one after the other. Finding the graviton and its mass is one of the main searches for physicists today. Locating the graviton would complete the standard model and unite the quantum scale with general relativity. 95% of the universe is made up of dark energy and dark matter, leaving only 5% to be understood by physicists. And who knows how much the graviton will reveal.